On February 15, 2009, an international team of scientists conducting field research in the Waransomile area of the Afar region of Ethiopia discovered the first piece of a 3.4 million year old partial foot fossil. The partial foot was found in an area locally known as Bertelli, located in the Mile district of the Afar regional state. Project leader Dr. Johannes Haile Selassie, curator and head of physical anthropology at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, was lead author on the initial analysis of the specimen. The research is published in the journal Nature. The new partial foot is the first fossil evidence revealing that more than one species of early human ancestor lived between three and four million years ago when Lucy's species, Australopithecus afarensis, lived. Each had different modes of locomotion. Now this partial foot that we have from Abortelli clearly shows that at 3.4 million years ago we had two different species with two different modes of locomotion. Now we know that Lucy's species, Australopithecus afarensis, was fully bipedal. It was walking on two legs, one on the ground like modern humans, whereas the owner of this foot was not walking like Lucy. Uh, it had the capability to climb up trees too. So this is more like the more primitive Artipithecus ramidus at 4.4 uh, million. Oh. The big toe of the specimen does not resemble that of Lucy's species, whose big toe is aligned with its other four toes like in modern humans allowing human-like upright walking. Instead, the new partial foot features an opposable big toe with a grasping function, like in the earlier Ardi species, Artipithecus ramidus, a 4.4 million year old pre-human ancestor. This would have made it adept at climbing in trees. The Bortelli partial foot, um, in addition to telling us that there were at least two different pre-human species 3.4 million years ago, it also gives us a lot of information about the foot morphology of early uh, humans or pre-humans uh, as such because this is the first time that we have a combination of different rays that we can actually look at different ratios of the length of this um, elements and it's really interesting that we f for the first time have the uh, metatarsals from the second ray and the fourth ray and we can actually compare the length ratios of these two and uh, this is something that we didn't know before from any fossil evidence because there weren't any complete second and fourth metatarsals of a single individual where we can actually uh, compare lengths. So we're getting new information into the foot morphology of our early ancestors from this Bortelli partial foot. The uh, Bortelli partial foot has an opposable great toe or the big toe uh, which means that it is more like the earlier 4.4 million old Artipithecus ramidus than it is like the contemporaneous Australopithecus afarensis, which is Lucy's species. So this foot tells us the persistence of Artipithecus ramidus-like locomotion into the late Pliocene, meaning into uh, three, uh, between three and 3.4 million years ago. A new partial foot specimen has not yet been assigned to a species due to the lack of associated skull or dental element. We also see that this partial foot um, is morphologically uh, more like Artipithecus ramidus, even though we didn't put it into that species simply because of the lack of um, cranial and dental specimens associated with this partial foot. Um, and we hope that more discoveries of the right elements might enable us to put it into a certain group of uh, species like uh, what we, we usually do with uh, fossil remains. Um, one of the most intriguing results that we have, we, we got from, this, uh, from the uh, statistical analysis of this foot is that the ratios of some of these metatarsals, like the um, length of the um, metatarsal from the second ray compared to the length of the fourth metatarsal gives very interesting uh, results. We see that uh, the uh, fourth metatarsal is longer than the second metatarsal, which is not the condition in, in humans. Uh, we, don't, we don't have complete um, second and fourth ray metatarsals from other uh, Australopithecus afarensis or Artipithecus ramidus uh, individual, so we don't really know what the condition was like in this, uh, in this species. But what the Bortelli partial foot is telling us is that if this is the representative of early hominid foot, we see that this is more like a monkey. It's more like the Miocene apes and not like, you know, humans. So that could be the primitive condition that we're seeing in this uh, partial foot. Members of the Waranso Mile Paleontological Project 
conduct paleontological field and laboratory work in Ethiopia each year to further our understanding of human ancestry and evolution. The multidisciplinary project, initiated in 2004, is led by Dr. Johannes Haile Selassie of the Cleveland Museum of Natural History and Dr. Bruce Latimer of Case Western Reserve University. The team includes scientists and university students from Ethiopia, the United States, France, Spain, and Sweden.